All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So today we're going to be looking at a new phone by New Mobile. So this is pretty eclectic here. We've got New Mobile back in there, and they're coming with a little bit of thunder here. So we've got their latest 5G device, and it has some pretty decent specs considering the price. So 6.5-inch Full HD Plus display, that's 2400 by 1080, and then you've got a 2.2 gigahertz octa-core CPU processor. You've got a rear camera at 48 megapixels, the main shooter. Then they also have a 16 and a 2 megapixel, obviously, for depth. Then you got a front megapixel camera of 8, 8 megapixels for the front camera, 8 gigs of RAM, that's a huge plus, and 120 gigs of storage with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So uh, let's go ahead and crack this open. I like their new boxes. Looks better than the other boxes where you got that cartoon like display on the box and all that. So you've got uh, the Type C cable right here. As you can see here, it is Type C. That's one thing you get in the box there. And on top of that, you can see the SIM cherry adapter, the SIM adapter, SIM cherry adapter. And you got the uh, fast charger here. You can see there. It's another thing, yeah. And then uh, the phone is in here. It should be a quick start guide and things like that. So here's the B20 right here. We'll put that aside for a second. Uh, and then we'll open up the rest of the packaging here. And it looks like they give you some some stickers, uh, which is pretty pretty cool. Some new stickers, that's, that's pretty eclectic there. You got your instruction manual for the V20 5G. And then you have a, 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 an additional tempered glass here. This is uh, pretty cool that they give you one of these. So let's go ahead and slide this out here. Uh, yeah, oh, it doesn't have one on there, but so it gives you a tempered glass. Now, isn't that something? So we're gonna get into this box here. Let me get this all cleaned up. Uh, and um, we'll be right back. Let's clean up here. So just looking over the hardware here, as you can see here, uh, this is a, a texture design or a soft touch matte design. And you can see the lighting here. It's got like a little shimmer to it. It's like a glistening effect. You can see that three camera array on the back here. That's pretty cool. Well, on this side, you've got a power button, which looks like it doubles as a fingerprint reader. Volume rocker here. Got some little the nice designs here on the edges, the way it's built around the sides. Then we go on to the bottom here. This is another nice part. You can see it's got it's kind of like indented in a little grooved area there with a Type C microphone and a headphone jack down there with the speaker out. Then we go on this side. You just have the SIM tray because this is a 5J device. SIM trays are still a thing. And then on the top, on the top here, you've got a microphone there for canceling, and then you've got the actual display here on the front. Let's see if we can get it powered on here. Hopefully, it's got some juice. Uh, yep, nice haptic feedback looks like. So that's a huge thing there. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to, to test this out. This has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery inside. And so this is gonna be pretty nice. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that they're doing something to get themselves back on the map. I haven't seen a device from uh, new in a very long time. So let's go ahead, I'm just gonna go through the start here. I'm gonna skip these informa this information for now. I'm gonna set up offline and we're gonna get into the device. This is what I want. I wanna get you into the device here. Uh, seems to be flowing along pretty smooth here. Let's skip the pin for now. Yes, yeah, skip it. When you go through this, you can set up your pin. You can do whatever you need to do. And wow, we are actually in. That is the fastest jump through I've ever seen. <laughs> now, folks, this is my first impressions here of this device. And I'm going to look for some bloatware now. Uh, do I see any? Actually, this is just a stock Android device, man. Uh, pretty cool stock Android device. I don't see any any kind of bloatware. You got the new help. That's not bloatware. So you've got everything on here. Uh, wow. So we're going to go into settings. Uh, let's actually go ahead and change this to dark mode here. I got to get dark mode on for you guys uh, because I know that it's night light. Let's go into let's go auto rotation. Let's turn that on. You've got nearby share. While we're up here, you can see some of the things that are actually going on here. You can edit that though. Uh, but let's go ahead and go to display and uh, let's go ahead and turn on dark theme here. There it is right there. So that probably looks a heck of a lot better. Uh, you got adaptive brightness that you can turn on. Uh, let me get some gestures going too, because I'm so used to using gestures. You can see it comes default with these hardware keys on the bottom. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into navigation and uh, we'll get into the gestures here. So I definitely cannot do the buttons on the bottom. It's been so long. So as you can see here, this is running Android 12, August 5th security patch at the moment. I'm sure that'll get an update. 
Uh, let's go ahead and uh, check. There's no bloatware or anything on here. And so if we go back into settings, uh, you go down to uh, system here, storage, as you can see, with nothing on the device, it is absolutely getting uh, a lot. There's not a lot going on for system either. Wow, only 4.9 gigs for system. And the apps so far are taking up only just under uh just under five under 5.5 gigs so it's pretty nice that it's not using a lot of the phone's storage that's a huge plus so i'm definitely going to fire up these cameras and take some shots around the office this is just a first impressions video to show you the device and show you what it's like so but let's get into the wallpapers here really like this it's nice and smooth so far uh, let's go into wallpapers and let's go into the wallpapers and these are the wallpapers that it's offering. We've seen these before. Yeah, we definitely. So only four wallpapers on here. That's pretty strange. But you have to get your own. Let's try and go to, and this is a good representation of the screen now. It lets you know how this screen is handling things. So let's go into the um, wallpapers and let's see if there's any live wallpapers. Nope, no live wallpaper. I remember back in the day, live wall wallpapers were a thing. Remember that? It was just live wallpapers were always, you could, they were on the thing. But I guess people, now there's so many applications for live wallpapers. People, companies don't put them on anymore. So with this being stock Android, folks, there's definitely not much to this. So let's get into the camera app here and let's see what their camera app is looking like. So you do have HDR. You can do HDR. You have a beauty mode. Uh, and you've got your video here. Let's see what their video capabilities are. Uh, we go into settings, 60 frames per second. So that is nice. Uh, video format, we can do the most efficient one. Video quality, uh, 2K. So you can record up to 1440p. That is good. And that's a pretty. This is a pretty basic, um, a pretty basic uh, camera app. If I'm, if I'm being honest here, it's not much to it. But we're still going to take some photos. Uh, and we're going to fire this thing up and then um, we'll get out of here, man. This is just a first impressions. I genuinely really like these, the way this color is being represented on the screen. I know sometimes over video you can't see much, but this is uh, fairly straight to the point. This is New Mobile's latest device here. And it actually looks pretty cool. Uh, let's get into security, though. Let's go in here. Let me see if I can set up a fingerprint reader. I do want to see... Uh, the settings for the security to see if I can actually do a fingerprint reader on here. Uh, let's see. It's got face unlock as well. Face and finger. So let's go into a pin here. All right. Well, I had that. Uh, and then we've got face and finger. So let's go ahead and do a fingerprint reader on here. So we'll go ahead and set up this one here. Yeah, in typical fashion of stock Android, it looks looks the same. Some of these I've learned that when you're setting up a fingerprint reader, it takes a lot. Like some of the some of the presses on here are a whole bunch, man. Like you really they want you to keep pressing the and I guess that's a good thing though, because a side mounted fingerprint reader is one of the best uh of them all. I use that um I prefer a side mounted fingerprint reader or a rear mounted fingerprint reader over an in screen fingerprint reader on any day because they're they're going to be more accurate. It's getting a better representation of your finger uh, and you can definitely um, get into your device faster. So now we're going to go to the thumb on side mounted fingerprint readers. This is what I do. I do my index finger and then I do the thumb. Always have two available. Uh, I think that's a, a huge a must for me that is. But now this one is requiring way more touches than uh, I'm used to. But Hey, it is what it is. I'm trying to move my finger around. I'm doing this real time for you just to kind of give you some sense of what it's going to do. All right. Almost there. And then we'll test it out. And I'm covering it in its entirety, getting different angles. I found out when it goes, it goes a little faster sometimes when you're doing different angles. Uh, so there's two fingers set up. So let's test the fingerprint reader very fast. Let's test this other one here. Both working. And see, this is the thing about having a a, a hard a hard fingerprint reader, like a, a hardware fingerprint reader. It's, it's so much better. So now let's get into uh, face. We'll go ahead and do face. And uh, the face one definitely is not going to be 
uh, <laughs> the, the fast or most secure, you know, I know almost these devices, but let me go ahead and set this up real quick off camera and I'll be right back. And just for reference, this is what it looks like when you first start to set it up. And I suspected, you know, it went really quick. It just was so fast. Uh, you know, uh, you wonder if it's really secure or not, but there's a ton of phones that have really fast facial recognition. And any of them, you know, I don't know if they're that secure, but let's test out the face, see if I can get it from behind the camera here. Yep, and it is fast. Yeah, just as I suspected. So it's really fast. Uh, so far, the display looks good and everything. Let's go ahead and... I'm going to sign into Wi-Fi so I can play a video for you. Looking pretty good. Let's check the speaker. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So it's your boy here. We're going to have a... Obviously, you can see I have the LG G3. Uh, been, been using this for a little bit, and I will post a full review. So it is a single bottom firing speaker, but it's fairly loud. I mean, it's loud enough to get most things done. When you consider the price, this is fairly decent. So let's crank the brightness up here. Oh, it's already up pretty much. Go ahead and go back in. You can see how it's handling itself on this lighting here. But um, overall, you know, decent, uh, decent screen. Uh, not mind blowing, but still good enough for most people. Uh, and that's just how it is. So you can do, uh, you can't remove this bar. Most people want to remove that bar. I've also wanted to remove that bar, but you can't. And that's the part of it being stock Android. You cannot do it. So good thing about, you know, this device is it is stock Android and it, um, it has a pretty nice screen. It's got a headphone jack, it's type C, it's affordable, and it's 5G. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, first impressions of this device, the new uh, the new mobile B20 5G. Uh, wow, this is, um, it's getting there. 5,000 milliampere battery is actually pretty good considering the thickness of this device. Uh, it's fairly nice. So what do you guys think about new mobile's uh, next attempt at a smartphone? You got a fast facial recognition, a fast fingerprint reader. Uh, what more could you ask for? I'll see you in the next video. Take care.